Well, guys, the hits keep on coming today. We know about the Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase, and we knew that news, at least according to a rumor from Nate Drake, uh, that we were, Nate the Hate, Nate Drake, you guys know who he is, uh, that we were going to get Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope news this week, and I had already been predicting that we were going to see Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope tomorrow in the Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase, and not only does it look like we're going to see it, we now have details that have leaked because Ubisoft made a whoopsie and accidentally sent one of their websites live for Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. I can't believe that this just happened. Uh, they did it. This clearly was going to be shown tomorrow and live tomorrow. Let's take a look after I remind you, hey, you know what? We're almost to 80,000 subscribers. When we get there, we got a big giveaway plan for Breath of the Wild, replica Master Sword, an actual steel sword, a replica Hylian Shield, and a replica Deku Shield that we're going to give away when we hit 80,000 subscribers. So go ahead and hit that subscribe, and let's get right into this stuff. So I initially saw this here. My Wario 64 out on Twitter said, Mario Plus Sparks of Hope, October releasing 20th, according to Ubisoft's official store. And you see it here, Mario Plus Sparks of Hope. There's a gold edition, whatever's in the gold edition, I don't know. And you see the date here of 2010-2022, which this obviously is 10-20-2022. Uh, beyond that, we go down, some people got some stuff in here. You forgot there's photos of Bowser in the game, confirming he's playable. Now, I don't know if this confirms he's playable, but he's definitely in the game, and he's not facing Mario and the gang. So, yeah, Bowser might be playable here. That's pretty incredible. Oh, moving on. Bowser's got a gun. Rabbit Rosalina doesn't look as shocked as Mario, or as impressed. So, like, Mario's like, huh? And Rabbit Rosalina, ooh. So, yeah, definitely looks like Bowser is playable, and oh, boy, does this look bad ass. Oh, we're not done yet, though. We're not done yet, though. There was another one in here, uh, I believe, that had four screenshots. Here we go. One more after this. So we see a screenshot here. So Bowser's part of the gang. You got this guy back here just kind of, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm too cool to be with the gang. Uh, it must be on the mothership here. You see Mario out here with his double guns going to town here in uh, one of the levels. Next up, we obviously see uh, some more gameplay goodness here in these screenshots. I suspect we're going to see a lot of this in an actual trailer tomorrow. So still a reason to watch for this game because the, we're not seeing it in motion here. Uh, and then obviously here's another look at another world. Oh, is that like based on the Titanic back there? That's really, really cool. I love the art direction of this game. It's very Rabbids, very Mario. Mixes so well together. And here you see where Bowser is sort of the leader of the gang here. Walking down, collecting the coins, getting to whatever these things are. I have no idea if those are enemies that you fight just randomly in the world or, or what's up with that. Um, I'm just kind of glancing here at uh, if this person might have posted anything else. I'm going to go glance at their Twitter. I don't know that they themselves posted much else. Uh, one thing, though, is that I did want to click on this link and just see what happens. Because I hadn't clicked on it yet, and it's gone. They took it down. They took it down. Hey, are you lost? They took it down. <laughs> of course they took it down. Man, oh, man, oh, man. That is so exciting. I can't believe... Well, you know what? Maybe I can. Because, honestly, Mario plus Rabbids leaked back in... Uh, right the day before, you guys remember E3 2017, Mario Plus Rabbids, all this art and imagery and stuff leaked literally the day before the Ubisoft uh, event at E3, and then obviously it kind of spoiled one of the surprises. Uh, now we already know about Sparks of Hope, so the game itself isn't a surprise, and honestly, it's still slated for 2022. It is made by a third-party company. It obviously was going to be part of this third-party uh, direct tomorrow, which I also think Bayonetta 3 is going to be part of that third-party direct as well. So I think this was an obvious thing, but I am stunned that Ubisoft themselves made this mistake. See, last time it was just assets from the press site leaking this wasn't even assets from the press site this was the ubisoft store accidentally sending the page live for a moment maybe they were just testing and hoped no one would notice but they should know better you want to always test with a page that isn't public because once you make it public the internet is going to grab it right away this is just wow i am literally like, stoked. like, immediately after recording this, I'm going to go straight into editing while talking on the phone with Eric. Because i got to let Eric know this is his most anticipated game in 2022. And it is now confirmed Nintendo is positioning this as one of their big holiday sellers. This is going to be coming out October 20th, 2022. We're going to see more of this tomorrow. Can't wait. 
I, oh man, this just got my hype level even higher. And if you are hyped as well, be sure to come to our live stream that we have happening at 8 p.m. Central Time, about two and a half hours or so from now, because we are going to be, whew, going to be giving out a bunch of predictions and yes, talking about the Sparks of Hope news and more. I am awesome. Now, are you guys excited for this game? The last game, according to... Uh, numbers from the development team sold around 8 to 8.5 million copies. I have no idea if this game is going to sell as well as the original. Is it going to outsell the original like Splatoon 2? Massively outsold Splatoon 1. Is that what we're going to see here? Is hype even higher for this? And I want to know your guys' hype. Obviously, we have Rosalina characters in here. Will Rosalina herself eventually be playable? I have no idea. There's clearly some Mario Galaxy vibes being added in. Maybe that's going to drive the hype even further. Maybe if there's a Mario Plus Rabbids 3 down the road, maybe they bring Mario Odyssey in the mix and some crazy zany things happen there. I just am so glad that this IP is moving forward and that Nintendo and Ubisoft are positioning this as a major holiday game. This pairs perfectly with Pokemon. You can, you can kind of get to the middle slash end of October. You drop this, and then you drop Pokemon the following month. That's a very good combo of games for the holidays. Yeah, it's not the same. You know, It doesn't slap the same as like if Breath of the Wild 2 was in October or something like that. It's, right. it's not going to give you the same slapping like a new Mario Odyssey game or, or Breath of the Wild 2. But, but it does confirm that it is not only not delayed and not only still coming this year, that they are treating it like a major title for this holiday. And we're going to be here so much more about Sparks of Hope as we head into later of the year. Oh my God, I can't believe this actually came out right now. I can't, I, I am stunned. I am stunned at the moment. So I got to get to editing this video, guys. You guys are amazing. I'll catch you guys all at the live stream tonight and at the Nintendo Direct Mini Showcase tomorrow. We'll be live an hour before the show starts at 7 a.m. bright and early. See all you guys there. Peace out.